When you come to my garden, you will see I have lots of hydrangeas, and especially the hydrangea uh, macrophylla magical. That's one of my favorites. And why? It's because they have such lovely, strong flowers. When you feel them, they're really hot. They have beautiful colors. They change color three times to four times a year. And that makes them very, very special. When you look at that, and you look at this picture here, you see all the color ranges they change into. They said, okay, Romeo, can you show what you can do with this plant on your balcony or terrace? And I said, okay, I could put them in a pot, but that might be a little bit boring. So what can I do to make it more interesting and make it more personal? So what I thought was like, I'm gonna buy a beautiful terracotta pot. I'm gonna spray it white. And then I want to make it into these colors, what you see here, beautiful with bluish tones, pink tones, a little bit purple tones more or less the same colors as you see in this flower bud here. So what I did was I went to this uh, shop and I bought some sprays, some paint, and I found the colors more or less you can find back into this flower. You see it's quite similar. And with these colors, I want to make this pot. So what I do is I make it first white, that's the base. So I spray one layer, lines, and then you make them other lines. Actually, you do it very simple in this way as you see now. When you do that, you get this result. And then after this, you take a little bit more distance, you do the same again. And in that way, you see all these different colors blending into each other, actually matching with the flowers you see up here. And that makes the pot very unique, and very personal. After the pot is dry, you can plant the hydrangea. Well, I got some special soil here, which you put in, and then you plant the plant. So when you have to plant them and you don't want to get dirty fingers, we even have gloves in the same style as the flowers themselves. Of course, when it's standing on a table like this, I want to have some little accents in the same color range as the flowers. So what I did was I have an old tea light. I sprayed them in the same colors as the pot. Do it in the same way as you sprayed the pot. When it's dry, you take it here and you add some sandpaper and then you start sanding it. And when you do that, you see that all the paint on the relief is gone and you got this beautiful structure. So when you put a light inside, you get this beautiful light coming through, as we can see here. So just imagine putting this on your table. How lovely would that be? After the, the season, when it's almost done with the flowering, I cut off the flowers because these flowers are very, very strong. They have very strong stems, as you can see here. That makes them very suitable to put them into a vase, so you can have a beautiful bouquet of flowers back home. Actually, if you go to a florist shop and you look at the, the florist, you see that quite a lot of the hydrangeas they sell are actually the magical hortensias from these plants. And in the end of the season, I cut them and I use them in such a nice wreath as this one. And actually, it's very simple to make this uh, hydrangea wreath. What I use is this, this ring made of straw and then I put them on all the flowers separately on this wreath, you get this beautiful wreath made of hydrangea. And you can just imagine, when the season starts, you have on your balcony, on your terrace, in your garden, these beautiful plants with these beautiful flowers. If you have a party, cut the flowers, put them in the vase and enjoy, for, uh, enjoy them. And after the season, take the buds, put them on here, dry them, and you have a beautiful wreath. And in this case, you can actually enjoy the magical flower during the whole year.